Welcome back, everyone. This is episode five of the Solo to SSL in 3v3, the series where I show you how I'd play to rank up with minimal mechanics as a peak Grand Champ 3 myself. In this one, we're climbing through Champ 2, and I really tried to focus in on demos and teaching how you can abuse them at this rank, so we'll get into it. By the way, my coaching program designed to take players that are gold through Champ up to GC in just six weeks or less is actually nearly sold out. Since a Apparently, Jack joined as head coach just a few weeks back. We've now got over 2,000 competitive players inside the Discord, and over 100 of our 125 seats have already sold out early for our 2.0 launch this January. So if you want access before we sell out and go on pause until spring 2023, DM me on Discord with a keyword 23, and I'll run you through the details. You can join the Discord and DM me through the first link down below, and let's get into it. All right, let's get into it. We've got a couple 1100s, Duncan and crew, Boston. I'll head for kickoff as the one front left. Oh, he's going to speed flip. All right, that's fine. We're going to... I should be half flipping there to get around back, but oh, ball's going to come to me. Okay, I'll play it into the corner because I see nobody's here. And I'm actually going to turn back because I, I see him like... I, I see him kind of like not pushing up. So there's no reason for me to... uh. There, there's no reason for me to boom it into him. Like, let him close the space and then hit it by. Then I'm going to make a shot off the wall and just keep rotating through is the key. My teammate makes, makes a nice follow-up. But once we do get it by one, you want to play it up the field very, very quick. So we'll cheat up. Ball's going to come to the right. My teammate should have nice. I'll play back. I'm just going to turn and wait. Move up the field. Check to left to see if my teammate's there. He's not, so I can boom it into the corner. And just keep rotating through, right? Notice how I move along these pads just by instinct, in and out, upfield. And that's going to allow me to almost be there in time. I'm not going to be able to get this ball in time, but I can grab boost and then drive challenge. I'm going to keep rotating through for demos because nobody, you know, there's no threat. My team still has possession, and that almost leads to a goal. There's a lot of chaos, so I'm going to wait back to my team here. This will bounce to the middle, so I should be able to 50-50. Pick up side boost, maybe go off the wall. Nice, he hits it across. I'm gonna I'm gonna look for demos in the midfield while I move and then come back if there's none. Notice how I always check for demos when I'm rotating across that midfield there. My teammate looked like he was missing, so I was keeping an eye on. <laughs> Didn't end up having to go back post. Here I'm gonna wait back. It looks like a shot might come. I am a little distant here, so I want to close the gap. He looks like he might hit it, so I'm just gonna wait. Nice, I get the ball. I see one challenge, so I'm just going to hit it over, and now my play's up. I've been hitting the ball for a while, so I want to move back, get behind my teammates, and just wait here. Looks like he might play at center. He is awkward, so I can kind of challenge, and I'm going to move through and just look for demos once again. Missed the demo on that guy. Can't get it, but I can keep rotating wide around the play, and we're, and this pressure is going to build on them soon enough. Boston looks like he wants it, so I'm going to go mid. Oh, he misses. That's fine. And I see nobody on my team is back, so I'm just going to take my time. Make a nice wide rotation. There's no threat here. We're totally fine. There's no angle. Just play across. This ball's coming to me. I'll get one up. And then maybe go for a shot. Boston almost gets a follow-up. Oh, pain. This will come back to me. I can flip into it. Keep driving through. And notice how I just look for demos. Not committing. And then I come back around. And see how much chaos that creates when you just move through and look for demos. Oh. I thought he was going for ball. He was totally going for corner boost. That's hilarious. I don't have boost here, so now I'm going to turn back and play midfield, looking to see if my teammate's going, and now just playing back when I see him go. Like, see, TH, why are you challenging the ball? There's no reason for TH Law to go for that ball there, but just because he thinks he has to redirect it because it's coming near him. But there's no threat. Like, here, once again, my teammate should be behind. He's going to have a much easier clear, so I'm just not going to go. Only go once I finally see him fly up. It's like you gotta you gotta understand like you don't have to go for the ball just because it's up. Here I'm looking for demos because I have no play on the ball. I'll we'll play back. Here just waiting for a center. This is gonna come up. I'm just gonna fly to try to interfere and get in the way. My teammates are gonna have to hold off for just a second here. I'll wait back post as long as I can while my team's still kind of pushed up. I want to be careful. Nice, the ball goes around so I can just play wide. And keep covering the net while my team, you know, my team's all in the corner. So I don't want to push up. I kind of just want to wait back. This allows me to almost be ready in net. I figured my teammate would go because he's up there in the corner um, after this. But he's, he's a little bit awkward. 
I could have uh, I could have played that ball instead of worrying so much about dodging demo. That's my fault. I'll say it's my fault. Nice, my teammate gets a good 50. He's gonna boom it downfield. I'm getting a lot of ping pong, so just not committing anywhere. Teammate looks like he might have 50. Good 50. I can wait center. He looks like he wants to hit it across. So I'm gonna try to cut this ball off without committing. I can get a demo once I once I see him uh, challenging, and then keep rotating back. Here I'm just watching shot. Ball's above, so I have time to back up. And oh my god, avert your eyes, avert your eyes, chat. What happened? I was trying to dodge demo, and I did I hit my. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Just uh, pretend, pretend that didn't happen. We'll cheat up. Ball will go into the corner. This is really awkward for them after a kickoff. So I want to I wanna play aggressive and try to, you know, put a shot on net potentially. Here, I'll wait back. This ball's going to come on net. I got to watch shot. Able to stay in the middle of the net. Keep the net in front. And that helps this guard. We're able to shut it down. I'm going to play aggressive here just because we are low on time. Keep trying to rotate through. Look for demos. Teammate almost gets to 50. Hopefully my guy has this ball. Nice. I'll bounce back to the center. They're a little awkward. We'll play it off to the side. I'm going to look for a demo. Hopefully create some space. Unfortunately, my teammates get beat there. So I'm going to come back, try to cut it off. Grab corner boost, and then maybe I can go for a play. Nice. He gets a clear. A little lag there on the challenge. Oh, messing up my recoveries. Don't mind me. Trying to wave dash back. And here I want to get around. Make sure I'm back post safely. Just try to get in the way. Maybe hit this ball. My guy hits it up. And uh, unfortunately we we, uh, we lose game, uh, game one. But we'll get into game two. Oh my gosh. This map is honestly giving me pain in my eyes. Okay. My, I thought my teammate was cheating. But then he wasn't. Now we have to get back. All right, we'll play fine here. Oh, my, I thought my teammate was going. I'm gonna let this roll down off the wall and then be able to get a play to the center. Unfortunately, he cuts me off, that's fine. Rotating a little bit through the middle of the net, I don't wanna do that, so I'm gonna get off to the corner and we'll just get a goal. We'll go for this. Get a decent 50, maybe get this side boost and let my teammate go. We'll go for a shot. This guy's going to boom it off. I'm checking my teammate. It looks like he's not really pressuring. So somebody's got to kind of get up here. Um, Could have played more aggro myself, I guess. Should, should have been more aggro upfield. Trying to play behind my teammate a little too much there. Should just be assertive and go for it. I'll cheat up. He'll get a boom over. I'm just going to half flip out because this is awkward. Grab corner boost and rotate all the way around. These 50s are kind of debatable. I don't know if my teammate wants to go here or not. So I'm just going to wait behind him. He hits one off the wall. I notice it's going to recenter. So I want to go for it quick. And maybe I can get a demo as I rotate through. Not quite able to. So we'll play back. Here my teammate's back once again. So I'm going to have to play a little more aggro. Now he's moving up. That's fine. So I can play more here. Ball goes off to the side. I don't see any of my team over here, so I kind of want to cover this area. Once it gets hit over, I believe these guys should have it, so I'll just wait and let them go. They have a better angle than me. No need to fly up or try to shut it down. I'm kind of holding the back line here, so I want to play back. Just blocking angles, making sure they don't have anything free on net once, he, once the ball does get close. And that center from that guy is really bad. Unfortunately, my teammate puts it a little bit behind us. So we'll just have to play back. Nobody on my team is back right now, so I want to be the one back. It's going to bounce a little wide. Almost able to follow it up. Going to look for demos as I rotate through the midfield here. And now I can rotate back around and there's no pressure on us because we are able to get a demo. Teammate gets a nice shot. There's some misdirection here. Maybe go for demo. Rotate a wide around. I see one guy back post so I can go. My teammate has an easier angle so I'm just going to keep moving through. Whenever I'm facing the ball backwards, I'm always checking to see if my teammate might have an easier play on it. Once again, when I'm rotating through the midfield, I'm looking for those bumps always. 
looks like none of my teammates have an easy play here. So I'm going to play it high and towards the wall because there's no threat that's going to come from that wall over there. It's a very safe place to be. Putting the ball middle like that is much more risky, however, because now they can go for a play on that. So notice how I'm going to take it to the side where it's much more safe in the corner. Theoretically, we could score it on, but that, that's the idea. When you're trying to move the ball off your side of the field, you want to play it to the side if at all possible. Unfortunately, my teammates, I, I, I get dunked by that guy and my teammates get beat. So, you know, it happens, but that's the idea. We'll uh, move over for boost here because he was cheating up. Oh, there we go. Teammate looks like he might center this ball. So I'm going to try to be wary of it. Just 50 to contest and picking up half boost and trying to stay up. This should bounce back to the middle. So I can go for a shot and continue to move move forward through for for bumps and look for my team my, I noticed my teammate is playing very very passive so that's just gonna be have to be something that we're cautious of playing it high into the middle so that if it does bounce it's bouncing back into a threatening area on their side of the field I'll play back post And just jump in high to cover as much of the possible shots as possible. And we're able to get just a quick shot. Quick shot on that'll do it. That's why wall play is important. Because wall play, you can get just a little bit of power quickly. And that'll help us score another breakaway. We got two goals like that this game. So the stream is lagging. It must be Wi-Fi. Luckily, the recording's all right. Here we'll cheat up because my teammate, I know my teammates behind me and to the right. I just want to drive challenge and get in the way. I don't think I'm going to win a 50 there, but I don't want to give him a free boom downfield. This ball will come off the middle. Just want to get high and try to get in the way. I should bounce high. He can maybe play middle. That's nice. Nobody's challenging this ball, so I don't want to go super aggressive. You know, I don't, I don't have to. He'll play that high. I think that'll be off backboard, so I'll just wait to the side. Because I'm waiting to the side, I have a pretty easy read. Um, and that's a really important thing. When the ball's going off your backboard, you want to get at a, at a 90 degree angle. Because it's much easier to see where the ball's bouncing off the backboard from here. As opposed to like driving at it like this and having to, you know, save. Ball will come back to me. He is just totally whiffing. So I'll get a nice boom. He looks like he's going to clear it to the corner. So I'll just wait. Get a center. And now I can move through for a bump. Get a free goal. And now here's the thing. You might you, you might ask, like, when is it okay to jump on your demos versus when is it not? Well, I know that ball is... One, I know that ball is airborne. And two, the way I'm driving out of the net means that even if I jump, I'm going to be rotating back as I jump. You don't want to jump when you're driving at them into the net. But if you're rotating away from the net, it's okay to jump. I'm going to play that way too high by accident. That was meant to be a shot. But you get the idea. Notice how when I move through the middle of the field, I'm always looking for bumps. And that creates these really awkward situations for these guys. Almost able to get a shot. We should be able to hold this one down. I'm going to rotate back post. Just play wide. And that'll be game. I'll grab boost here. Ball's going to come out to the right. I can go for a boom. I want that boom to be a little more central in the future but that's all right almost get a goal out of it i'm gonna flip back just to catch up to this in time and make sure i hit it off to the corner uh he takes boost which is fine so i kind of just want to get in the way and now i'm trying to get back post as quick as possible but luckily we get a clear out so i don't have to go back post i can move up ball's gonna come all the way around i'm gonna get side boost and then turn my teammate should have an easier angle here so i'm just gonna let him go nice he gets a beat over one I can wait for the bounce. Unfortunately, he's like, if he just lets me go, I have a nice easy shot. But you kind of know when people are going to cut like that. Fortunately, get bopped up. So we're going to try to boost down a little bit and get behind. Play back. Just collect these boosts. Be ready center. Try to play it off to the side. Keep rotating through. He'll play it off to the side. Looks like nobody's going here. Oh, nice. He gets a, he gets a touch up. So I'm going to half flip around. Just get back. Almost a boom. Nope. So we'll play center. Gonna jump to hit that forward. And just go for a, go for a simple shot when I realize he's awkward on the wall. 
Oh, I did not mean to jump there. <laughs> Half flip. Um, we'll push up. I'm going to hit it off the wall once to then get possession. And then I can go for a flick. Maybe my teammate closes that one out. Almost. Maybe. All right, I'll have to do it myself. What? <laughs> what was that? I'm go for ball here. I'm gonna grab side boost. I gotta get back quick here because I'm scared my teammate might miss. Nice, we're fine. He's gonna hit it off to the side here. I'll have a pretty easy angle if my teammate doesn't cut knock me over. Like that's what I'm saying. Stop. Like you really don't want to move from center to side like that. But that's fine. I'm just gonna wait back here. I see my teammates behind me, so I can cheat up a little bit aggressively. Now I'm gonna play behind them as much as I can. I'm just gonna let this ball come all the way around. That allows me, our team, pretty easy time at clearing it. Can hit it up the wall. Keep going for centers. Rotate through. Grab corner boost. Rotate back around. And you see, like, the pressure that we keep on them just because we're rotating properly. Like, look at how Aware is rotating. He's rotating ball side. You don't want to rotate ball side because then you get all these awkward situations where you're facing each other and like when you're facing each other that's how nobody knows where to go it's very confusing that's why you need to keep rotating in circles you notice how i rotate around here i wait back and that allows me to cover shots and things like that gonna hit one up he'll hit it back i'm gonna rotate wide around Nice ball will come to me. I'm just going to keep it corner here. Focus on just getting good 50s. That way we can guide it out pretty safe. And once the play come, dies down, I'll move across the field. And because I'm across the field, you know, I'm playing this open space. The ball finds its way to me a lot more than it finds its way to the other guys. Nice shot. Once I see him drifting to the center, yes, I could go for this ball. But I can see Nexus and Nexus can't see me. So I'm going to let him go. If he misses that, then I'm back. A lot of people would just go there if they're me. So it works. We'll cheat now. Play it off to the side. My teammate should have. Oh, he's letting me go. That's nice of him. Able to dribble through. Go for a shot. And rotate back around. Nexus wants to go, so I'll keep playing back. He looks like he wants it, so once again, just let him clear. Allows me to get ball. That'll lead to a goal. <laughs> a little bit of a miss flick into a bump, but it'll work. And that'll be another forfeit. So you see just like basic, you know, consistent rotations around. Incredible what it, what it does. I think the big takeaways for this episode, guys, are don't cut across the midfield when you have teammates that might be like behind you. You need, you need to keep eyes on if they're there. Um, and apart from that, keeping rotating in circles, it's just something that the champ ones just aren't doing. So that'll be episode five. DM my discord for coaching. Join the discord if you want more free resources, or you can click the link below to DM me for coaching. Otherwise I'll see you in the next one. Peace guys.